Hello and welcome to Studio 18 in the Pines. Once again, we're at a wonderful art exhibit here, and this one is called The Best of Studio 18. And with us is the arts coordinator for the city of Pembroke Pines, Robin Vegas. Robin, who chose the pieces that are here? I did. Um, it was really fun to go back over the last three years and visit some of the artists that have exhibited with us that had studios, maybe they've moved on, and invite some of them back to have a sampling of the best of the last three years. So it was a really fun it's show. It's a beautiful to show. Thank you so Once much. Once again, I mean, I say that every time I'm here, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. We're really proud of it. And how long is it going to be here? It's going to be up until July 25th, and then our next exhibit is on Common Ground, opening the first Friday in August. Well, we'll be back and see what that's like. All right. Thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you. Thanks. Once again, we're here with Stephen Sylvester, who does these. Boy, do you know women, let me tell you. <laughs> you, you got women figures down to a T. Yes. yes. And uh, I, I love this one, this wardrobe malfunction sculpture. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's an earlier piece for me, and it's my interpretation of Janet Jackson's wardrobe malfunction. Um, if you look at what she was actually wearing that evening, it was more like a leather trench coat. But when I started to make the piece, um, it didn't portray enough movement for me. And when I think of Janet Jackson, it's all about movement and Absolutely. dance and very active on stage. So That looks like leather. What is it? It is actually a red terracotta clay with a satin black glaze on it. And I um, deliberately, intentionally had the canvas embedded in it, and it it looks like leather. I think I pulled that yeah, it off does. pretty good. Yeah, it does. It does look like leather. And the next piece? The next piece is just kind of a, a, a bustier, teddy, mm -hmm. lingerie kind of piece. Um, I have put that piece on a professional model. Really? Yeah, there is video on my website. We were talking about could it actually fit a person. She would have to be a tiny little woman. Uh, she is a tiny little woman who wore this piece. Um, this piece was not made to be worn, so it's rather bulky. And it was heavy. Stri it, yeah, heavy. it's heavy. And so it was kind of strapped on, and it was for a photo shoot from the front. Um, I have made pieces specifically to be worn yes. by models. Um, this was not one of those pieces, but um, it's just kind of a, a you know, a little teddy negligee. It's very yeah. graceful. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I, it's fun and so are you, Stephen. Well, I appreciate whimsy and humor and the imperfection of us all and of life. <laughs> and, and I think I assemble imperfection rather well. That's kind I of what so I too. do. What I do. Thank you very much, You're Stephen very Sylvester. Welcome. It's it's a pleasure once again to see you. Thank you. Beth Amato is a photographer who does incredible work. Tell me what, how you do this. This particular series is um, straight photography, and it's oil and water series that I've done. Um, I'm an animator and a fine artist, and that's what I'm originally trained in. That's what I went to school for. I worked in the advertising industry, and I was looking for a way to combine the traditional aspects of what I do with the technological aspects. So I came up with a process where I take photography, photographic elements, hand-drawn elements, hand-painted elements, I scan those in, and then I take single frames of computer animation and sequences over time, and I compress them down, and I take all the layers in Photoshop, and I make them into one image. So it's kind of a fusion of the technology and the traditional art. And it comes out interesting, interesting work, very interesting work. Thank you. So, thank you, Beth Amato. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
There's so much talent at Studio 18. And now I'd like you to meet a very talented artist, Angela Patron. Hi, Angela, nice it's you. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too, thank you. Um, I'm very impressed with this piece. Thank you I mean, so much. It's a, a mother and child is always, it always gets to my heart. Yes, me too. So um, tell me what, what, how you did it. What is it made of? Well, the original drawing is done in charcoal. And uh, then I scan it into the computer. Well, actually, let me back up. I do the uh, charcoal outline and also shading it so everything's black and white value. And I scan it into my computer and I actually paint it digitally in Photoshop using wow. a digital chalk brush to, to make it look like it's done by hand. And this is pure charcoal. That's pure charcoal, yes. That's my niece, Victoria. Uh, I did that, I think she was about nine or ten years old at the time. And... Um, Yes, it's just pure charcoal on charcoal paper. But I don't think you need color on, on that one. I no, think it you says don't. enough. Yes, yeah. on that one. It's so. very, very sensitive and yeah. very delicate. And it's obvious you like that little girl. Yes, I love her <laughs> to death. She's just a beautiful little girl. Angela, it is so nice to meet you. And I, I really like your work very much. Thank you so much. And I hope you stay with us for a very long time because I can see that you're growing in a lot of different directions. Yes, thank you. I plan on being here for a long time. Good. Thank you. This very talented artist is David McLeish. And David, I, I think your work is gorgeous. And um, it's, it's the best use of mixed media that I have seen in a very long time. Wow. Thank you so, very much. I know this is only one of how many? Uh, 70. 70. Right. It's, a, it's called the Fading Memory Series. And basically what happens, it's like a reverse Polaroid. So this is the completed version, and then it'll reverse back and fade into nothing. So there's sets of 10. Seven wow. sets of 10. David, tell me about this piece. This one here? Mm-hmm. Um, this is a mixed materials, as, uh, as I always work in. This, this piece in particular is uh, about different kind of layers and basically no matter where you go it's the same so as we step forward or step backwards however you want to read the piece you you come across the same exact personality structures no matter what so it's an example of no matter what journey you take you're going to come across the same exact personalities no matter what language or culture i i love it i really do thank I, you. I think you're a very talented man i i, I want to thank you for hanging in Pembroke Pines Studio 18. Absolutely my pleasure, really, truly. Wonderful place. It's a wonderful place and you adorn it beautifully, so thank you. Thank you. That's the July exhibit at Studio 18 in the Pines. And I hope you've enjoyed this tour with us, because I've enjoyed it. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman and thank you for joining me today.